I'm Brittany Matey. I'm the social media coordinator at Cincinnati Public Radio. And today in our studio, I am with Nickelodeon star of the hit show, That Girl Lele. It's a breeze, snap my fingers. It's easy as the ABCs. Lele, 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 Lele. All day, day, that girl Lele. Hello. Alea, hi. Hi. Hi, yeah. welcome to freezing cold Cincinnati. Yes, you came on the coldest day. It is so cold and I did not come prepared <laughs> at all. Who is Alea? Alea is a bubbly, highly confident, small person. Oh, small person, big energy. Yes, I already small feel the person, big energy. Big energy. <laughs> How old are you, if you don't mind? I'm 15. 15? Yes. Oh my gosh. I'll be 16 in three months. Oh, no, 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 clear. you ready to drive? You're going to mm-hmm. be driving? Okay. <laughs> Do your friends call you Lele or Alea? They call me Alea. They know. I do not like being called Lele. Really? And I think it's because it became a stage name. Because mm. Lele used to be my nickname. Mm-hmm. And so now it's a stage name. So I just hear it all day. So I tell them, don't call me that. <laughs> so that's your separate, like when you're work, yeah. it's Lele. When yes. you're not at work, it's, it's Alea. Alea. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So I'm going to call you Alea. Okay. Okay. Give you a little break. <laughs> and... <laughs> I'm a fan of your show on Nickelodeon. I know I'm at my big age. I'm a fan <laughs> of that girl, Lele. I watch it even if the kids aren't around because it makes me laugh. And okay, so what is it about the show you think that makes adults and kids alike laugh? I think that everybody likes the family aspect of the show. I mm. think that they like the, they can relate to the show. We have real life problems in it. It's comedy. It's friendships. It's drama. It's everything. So I think they just like that whole part of it. How did you get into acting? Well, I originally started rapping. What's your word? Money is all that I hurt. Money, 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 I'll hurt. But I knew I wanted to be acting sometime soon. But when I first started, it was kind of rough. And I wasn't, all the auditions, I wasn't getting them. So I kind of lost my confidence for it. And I didn't want to do it anymore. Then about a year or two later, I ended up getting my own TV show. Awesome. All of a sudden, I want to do it now. <laughs> and let me tell you, let me tell you. So I'm an actor, right? Uh-huh. And I know how it is, so I'm so proud of you. Because you could have, like, a thousand auditions, yes. get one call back and then a veil, and you're like, ah! Yeah. But keep going, no matter what. And I'm, I'm just so proud of you. Thank you so Sidebar. much. <laughs> okay, so there are a lot of students down the street from our studios at the School for Creative and Performing Arts who would love to have their own hit show on Nick. What advice would you give those students who dream of having an acting career like you did? I would say stay focused and stay patient. Patience mm. is key. And me being in this industry, I've learned that you have to be patient. Uh, amen to mm-hmm. that. Okay, speaking of school, how do you balance acting and school? Well, before I do any acting, they make sure I get that school done. Three hours or four hours or however many hours, they make sure it gets done before anything. Okay, we got a talented and educated mm-hmm. queen in the studio. <laughs> okay. Who is someone that you look up to in the industry and why? Hmm. When it comes to the music industry, I don't really look up to many people. Um, I look up to my dad, Lauren Aww. Hill. Um, what you know about Lauren Hill? Okay. You know, I, I know a little right. Okay. I know a little something, something. <laughs> but uh, growing up, there wasn't really anybody that I looked up to, so I decided to become it. Because Ooh. I knew if there was nobody that I looked up to, then there's nobody that they can look up to. Okay, I'm saying right now, put that on a shirt. Okay, that was that was that was why. <laughs> now um, I'm somebody that people can look up to that Aww. the kids have now. That is so awesome. All right, when and where can our listeners watch season two and catch up on season one? You can watch season two on Nickelodeon, and you can also watch season one on Nickelodeon and Netflix, and you can watch it every Thursday at seven thirty. And what do you have coming up next? What I have coming up next? Yes. I have a passion project that I'm doing with my five-year-old brother. Best friend. And he sees his big sister doing all these things, and now he wants to do it. So we're going to give it a try. Oh, okay. We can't <laughs> yeah. wait to see that. Yeah. Now let us know how our listeners can keep up with you on social media. Follow this. I'm telling you, this this she's going to be it, okay? <laughs> uh, you keep up with me on Instagram, that girl Lele. Subscribe to my YouTube, that girl Lele, and follow my TikTok, that girl Lele. Everything's that girl Lele. But in, if you're her friend, call her Alea. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we are so glad you came to speak with us here at Cincinnati Public Radio. And we are rooting for the continued success of your career. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Brittany.